So wouldn't you know it, Nate and I just finished up recording a new show for the Spawncast Network. It's an Xbox-centric podcast, and some pretty big news just dropped for Microsoft. One that I think really flips kind of the public opinion and kind of view of their relationship in Japan, specifically with Square Enix, because there's a game that's been talked about as going to the Xbox, or at least a work in progress to get there for more than half a decade now, and it looks like it's finally happened, and now it seems that, I guess, the relationship between Square Enix and Xbox is healed, because they're also talking about other titles that could be heading to the platform in the future, so we'll go over all of this here today. Guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here to the Spawn Wave channel. Let's, let's start with just the announcement itself, all right? That is that Final Fantasy XIV is indeed heading to the Xbox uh, Series systems, Xbox Series X and S. We have some of the features here, faster loading time, 4K support for the Xbox Series X. Now, this was part of like the big Final Fantasy XIV celebration that was happening in Las Vegas. They even got Phil Spencer up on stage with Yoshida and then the, the CEO now for Square Enix alongside of them. And... I mean, really discussed the process of getting Final Fantasy XIV there, because it does sound like it was actually quite a bit of work. A lot of things had to happen on Xbox's side, and seems like Phil Spencer was really pushing to get it done. They also talked about new expansions and all kinds of content and stuff heading into what is, I mean, a massive MMO, that MMORPG that's been around for a while, didn't start out the best, but... I mean, really, really work towards repairing the game and then also making it one that people absolutely love. So seeing it go to another platform like the Xbox uh, is only good. And then if you actually look at some of the details here, it will have cross-play support, which is a big one. I, I do want to point that out. Uh, and it will have an open beta that's scheduled for uh, patch 6.5x 2024. And in fact, that's when they're looking to release this, that being spring uh, 2024. So what becomes very interesting about this is that originally there were talks that things weren't so great between Microsoft and Square Enix, right? I mean, you look back at what was going on for a while, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters uh, skipped Xbox. Apparently it even went to like Amazon devices or something. So it, it went all over the place. PlayStation got it, PC got it, uh, Phones got it, uh, then we had, of course, the Switch get it, but nothing with the Xbox. And it got to the point where some articles, like, for example, with Windows Central, had mentioned that there was something fundamentally wrong with the relationship between Square Enix and Xbox and Microsoft. And I I, I, I get the idea because of, of what was happening in the present there. And then, obviously, you see the relationship between Square Enix and PlayStation being very strong, and a lot of that has to do with Sony funding and paying money to basically exclude Final Fantasy 16, for example, from uh, the Xbox. It will go to PC later, and it seems like they still have to get that all set up and done. Uh, but that, coupled with Sony engineers coming in to help work on the game, and, and et cetera, et cetera, it's, it does look like Square Enix leans more towards, okay, let's work with PlayStation over Xbox, but it also, I think, just comes back to the business side of things. I almost feel like people were thinking that there was an actual issue to where Square just hated Xbox. Like, they don't want to deal with them at all. There's a lot of numbers and different things we don't see behind the scenes that I'm sure... Uh, really influences these these uh, these actions by Square Enix when it comes to Xbox. But interestingly enough, we can see now out of nowhere it seems the rift between Xbox and Square Enix has been healed. This is uh what, four months apart or something. So again, you can see how the almost the perception of their relationship has completely flipped with not only the announcement of Final Fantasy fourteen but also discussion of more to come. Now, this was a transcription of some of the, the stuff they talked about on stage with Phil Spencer, Yoshida, and uh, Kiro, the CEO there of, of Square Enix. So the three of them up there all kind of discussing now the relationship, it seems, with Phil Spencer even like pointing to that specifically, saying it couldn't be more clear than watching your presentation today. At Xbox, we share a very similar spirit when it comes to our players, and we're really inspired by how you have made Final Fantasy IV. 
2014 with everyone a global success. We want to bring the Xbox community and your Warriors of Light together in a way that is safe, secure, and engaging, and above all, fun. And we also see this as a seminal moment in our relationship with Square Enix and the Final Fantasy team as we look to partner more closely together in the future. So, again, this is... This is interesting because they they also go on to discuss, uh, for example, this is from the Square Enix CEO uh, saying, first off, I have to thank you, Phil Sun, for working with us to make the Xbox version of Final Fantasy XIV a reality. This is a project that wouldn't have been possible without Phil's support. I think I can speak for myself, Yoshida, and all of our Warriors of Light here watching the live stream when I say how excited I am to see Xbox support added and for us to welcome countless new friends to the world of Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV is only going to get bigger and better, so all the Xbox gamers out there, I urge you to give Final Fantasy XIV a try. And it it really does sound like that... I, I mean, the, I don't think the relationship was like broken as it was kind of being painted but there were some sticking points i'll say from what was kind of discussed and and was making the rounds between them especially with final fantasy 14 they're very open actually at times like for example this was uh this was back in 2019 remember phil spencer had been talking about this for like five years now getting final fantasy 14 over to the Xbox. And it was even laid out at one point by Yoshida, who was quite frank about what was holding all of this up. It said, to play an MMORPG on Xbox, there are two regulations for Microsoft which stand in the way of making crossplay, specifically crossplay, feasible. Unless these regulations are rejected, there is no meaning. One of the regulations is that players with different platforms cannot chat with each other in game. Then how do you play an MMO? The other regulation is you cannot make a community with plays on a different platform. So you, you can't form a guild. You can't enter into a link shell and no free company. So I would like to have Microsoft change their regulations. And indeed, it looks like that's what has happened. And it seems like it's been a Quite a long process to get it done, to make sure all of that is specifically working, it seems, for Final Fantasy XIV. But remember, and for a while, you needed that Xbox Live subscription to to participate in free-to-play games. That was a big thing. And finally, they decided to reel that back a bit to where, yes, you still pay to play online for paid games, but free games, that's not the case anymore. Now, on PlayStation, you don't need PlayStation Plus to play Final Fantasy XIV, to my understanding, but you still need that subscription service for Final Fantasy XIV. It, it costs, it's a monthly fee, it's an MMO, and that's just kind of how it works for, I guess, server upkeep and all these different things, right? In this case, I believe they're going to do the same thing, since they now have that policy that frees up free-to-play games, or in this case, games that have separate subscription services, like Final Fantasy XIV. So, ironing that out, as well as all of the cross-play stuff, basically open the door for Square Enix to get Final Fantasy XIV on the Xbox Series platform. And for me, this just continues to show how serious Xbox is when it comes to Japan. They can talk about it all day long and stuff, but when you see, well, again, like half a decade or more of work put into just getting this MMORPG over to the Xbox with full crossplay and all these different things, uh, I mean, it shows that they are at least taking that seriously in an attempt to grow further in Japan. And when I hear that Square would be working closely with Xbox, maybe going forward on other projects, it does kind of seem like maybe Final Fantasy 17, whenever that happens, which it's probably not this generation, it's probably next generation. Maybe it's not just a PlayStation game. Who knows? Maybe the Xbox logo is up there as well, alongside of PC, all of that happening day one. Final Fantasy 16 was an interesting situation as it came off of 15 that was multi-platform, right? And in fact, while Final Fantasy 14, of course, that's PC and, and PlayStation, 13 also multi-platform. So there was a trend for a little while there that it these Final Fantasy games were showing up on the Xbox. And who knows, maybe going forward, we will see other titles, spinoffs, for example, like Crisis Core, continue to appear on the Xbox. And I'm sure Square Enix will also take advantage of that Game Pass check from time to time. But I think it's good to, to see this happen. Obviously, more people get a chance to play a game that needs as, I mean, as many people as possible playing. It is a service-based MMORPG. But also, seeing the the public perception around the relationship between Xbox and really Square Enix kind of flip 180 in just one day with that announcement, I think is only 
a positive thing going forward. But hopefully they continue to act on what we what we believe is well a, a repair relationship, but maybe a good business working relationship now. And they really continue to put games from Square Enix on the Xbox and sort of build up that audience going forward towards maybe, maybe Final Fantasy 17. I don't know, in, what do you think, 2029 on the uh, the Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and who knows, maybe even Nintendo's next system. But let me know what you guys think about all this down below. Are you someone who's been waiting for Final Fantasy 14 to finally make the jump to the Xbox? And it's just an incredible announcement for you to see. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.